get maximized, yo, oh, 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 get optimized, yo, oh, 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 get naturalized, exercise, let your life get Mickey-mized, 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 Mickey methods, yo, workouts. The global leading holistic health guru, Bharat mein equipment free training ke agradu, 24 ghanto mein swimming sikhane ke vishwa record holder, भारतीय टेलीविजन और रेडियो पर वेलनेस को लाने वाले पहले शख्स वेलनेस जॉन रबे सोशल मीडिया की बादशाह होलिस्टिक हेल्थ कैटेगरी में विकिपीडिया पर आने वाले एकमात्र एशियन जिन्होंने ट्रेन किया है बॉलीवुड के सितारों को बड़े बड़े रईसों को जाने माने नेताओं को और मुंबई पुलिस को जिन्होंने भारत को कई मिस वर्ल्ड और मिस यूनिवर्स दिए भारत के सबसे बड़े होलिस्टिक हेल्थ पोर्टल के संचालक An author, a philosopher, an institution, the brand, the dream life coach, the legendary Mickey Mantle. Hi, this is International Yoga Day, and yoga is the solution to all problems of mankind. Yoga, if you embrace your sacred geometry. and the sacred geometry of the cosmos becomes one the lines of separation get obliterated and the never ending infinite eternal fractal design keeps expanding this universe is constantly in flaming it is inflammable so expansion of the universe and the expansion of human consciousness has to be simultaneous you ought to be like a tree embracing yoga the roots and the fruits grow simultaneously yoga is as much about fruits but more about the roots getting deeper inside your being where seemingly there is darkness but in reality the truth is you will find light this is exactly like when you see with your naked eyes and switch off all the lights you see pitch dark but when you get used to that darkness you begin to see the contours of light so yoga is deep diving inside entering into that dark space of creativity from where the stars the suns the moons the birds the bees the trees you and me have come that shunyam quotient shunyata zero from where we come to which we return and yoga keeps you disease free ailment free yoga replaces fear and instills faith yoga gives you perceptions and beliefs that will change your biology with faith you will change your physiology with breathing meditation you will change your hormonology with prayers you will change your psychology so yoga if embraced in totality will make you super successful a visionary human being so let's start yoga on this international yoga day to celebrate yoga to take it to the world to the universe let 7 billion hearts on this earth throb with yoga let 7 billion minds on this earth get filled with the light of yoga unison oneness integration wholeness the light of awareness the light of consciousness mindlessness or should we call mindfulness well there's a paradox mindless is less of thoughts mindful is full of light of consciousness of here now and every attention we put in here now and every intention we sow 
in here now will be your manifestation and you can be the master of manifestation. You can be the co-creator of your own destiny and with legs you will walk towards your destiny, with hands you will make your destiny, with eyes you will see your destiny coming, with your mind you will perceive it, with your heart you will believe it and with your spirit you will achieve it. So there's a Rig Veda saying, we are what our deepest desires are. As are our desires, so will be our will. As will be our will, so will be our intentions. As will be our intentions, so will be our deeds. And as will be our deeds, so will be our destiny. Let's start the journey of carving your own destiny and climbing on the ladder of evolution only a man can climb and rise higher than gods or fall below animals. You and me are gods in seed form waiting for our nourishment, nurturing, blossoming. Let's become fragrant like flowers, sweet like fruits, deep as roots. Vasudeva Kutumbakam, this whole entire whole universe is one big family. Everyone and everything is connected with each another. We are not separate. We are one. We are integrated. Invisible connections give you invincible power. This electromagnetic field supplies and gives you energy to you, me, birds, bees. Electromagnetic pulse which comes out from the stars, sun, moon, tides, oceans, rivers, you and me, trees. We will connect. It will make us connect. The invisible, non-local correlation of life is yoga. Your lines and our lines get obliterated, we become one. We become congruent with nature and there is confluence of mind, body, spirit meeting at the point Ganga, Jamna, Saraswati for ultimate consciousness, ultimate awareness, ultimate harmony, bring ease, dissolve disease. Bring order, dissolve disorder, orchestrate everything you want. Okay, so let's start. Now, let me tell you that let's get back to the animal world. Let's get back on our fours. We were animals before. So some part of instinctive being is very important, some part. And on the human side, extreme consciousness is very important. So being grounded on four legs makes you connect to the rhythms. So your circadian rhythm will connect with the universal circadian rhythm. And from the fours, now get one leg behind, left behind, right behind, push yourself, your heels to the floor, your chin tucked in, your glutes buttocks sucked in tight and breathe in, up, stretch your stomach, contract and stretch your spine, open up the passage of Kundalini from your bottom to top. So mind-gut axis and of course in meditation, the gut gravity axis. Now your eyes will be rolled in, in Shambhavi Mudra, looking at the center. So you get centered in awareness. This is the feel of infinite consciousness, infinite possibilities. You become the immeasurable potential of all that was, is and will be. Open up, so you become like a snake, but don't bite. As alert as a cobra, as alert, as sharp, 
as astute. From here, go back into mountain position. As sturdy as a mountain. As sturdy as a mountain. As sharp as a snake. Stretched. Can you imagine? Both your brain sides, left hemisphere, right hemisphere, lighten up together. Back to the mountain. Stretch your hamstrings. Be rock steady. Suck in your stomach tight. Chin locked in. And breathe in. Once again, to be sharp. So, all your senses become sharp in this posture, especially. And this is postures in poetry. Yoga is nothing but postures in poetry. And from here, we will get our right leg front, in the front, on your marks. Get set, go. So your eyes are sharp. And back, once again, left leg in the front. Your vision should be very clear. The foggy mind should dissolve and clarity should emerge in this position. Energy is being upregulated. Attention, awareness is being upscaled. Back. Again, right leg in the front. Your physiology, your biology is getting upgraded. Back. Left leg in the front. You are raring to go. You have the courage. Replace fear with courage. Back. And sit in Vajrasana. As I said, replace fear with courage. Now, replace your weakness with strength. So, first I will show you a simple, short Surya Namaskar. Short Surya Namaskar. Simple because you'll be on your knees. Easy to do. So from here, you get into four, onto your fours, go down, breathe in and up. And breathe out, suck your stomach in tight. Don't breathe in, chin locked. This is your Mahabal to become a reservoir, reservoir of energy. And here, up and back in Vajrasana. And one and back in Vajrasana. And and back in Vajrasana. Squeeze your stomach tight. So yes, this was your half Surya Namaskar. So we started with the Bhujangasana stretch, mountain sturdy, Bhujangasana alert. Sharp, mountain, rock solid, steady. The philosophy of yoga is unfolding. And then we got into half Surya Namaskar. And now let me show you a full enough Surya Namaskar with the mantra. And when you chant the mantra of the Surya Namaskar facing the east, I'm going to turn eastwards. Double whammy happens. You get stimulated. Activated, integrated, and you become sound. Health, organic unity, wellness happens. So from here, Om Mitra Namaha, Om Rave Namaha, Om Surya Namaha. Om Bhanve Namaha Om Khagaya Namaha Om Pushne Namaha Om Hirandarbhaya Namaha Om Mariche Namaha Om Adityaya Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Arkaya Namaha Om Bhaskaraya Namaha 
I'm sure you did this Surya Namaskar with me. One Surya Namaskar done very slowly with breathe in and breathe out alternately can really activate and stimulate you and upgrade your physiology, biochemistry, uh, anatomy and also psycho, muscular, neuro and endocrinology combined. These are new sciences. But yoga knew about this long, 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 long back. Okay, let me do some cat camel to stretch, to stretch. Okay, so arch, chin up. Suck your stomach in tight. Chin locked, again. You can use your elbows for fulcrum effect because yoga ought to be fluid, dynamic and static stationary all at the same time. This cat camel gives you steadiness of the mind because it makes your spine agile. Of course, every other asana makes your spine agile but this particular on force when you do when you're square with the gravity when you're aligned with the gravity the instinctiveness of coordination and balance rises to the fore and you become very sharp and well coordinated your baseline biology settles your immunology begins to grow the immune is the immune system which you are born with and the immune system which you cultivate and develop. So that was it. Now the next now Paschimottasana very very good for stomach, IBS, digestion and most importantly it's very very good to become brave because you breathe out all the fears, phobias, insecurities, despair, resentment, hate, dislike, grudges and you fill it in with strength, courage, self-confidence, self-conviction. So you go like this. in tight, suck your stomach in tight and become a man of courage spiritually, mentally, emotionally. So, breathing out. You can hold on after breathing in. Now let me show you one thing. After this, ideally, pull your legs inside, your heels to the buttocks. Hug yourself tight. A vertical crunch for your stomach cylinder and of course a compassionate hug to make you feel one with your body. You become more sensitive and aware of all the body parts as you do yoga. Yoga is yoga ah. Yoga, huge joining, integration, ah, seed of consciousness, ah, seed of awareness. Open up. Open up. Yoga is about opening up the legs. And yoga is about opening up the mind. So as we open up, so from here. Let me first stretch up, stretch, stretch, stretch.
Stretch. Look up, look up, look up. Yoga is about stretch and it's about contraction. So now I'll contract my right side and take it to the left, right knee. Up to my left. Up to my right. Up to my left. The reason in yoga we move to the left, right, center, backwards to give you 360 degree awareness of all kinds of perceptions and deeper centered perspectives from all angles. Now, after having done <clears throat> left and right, let's see what we can do in the center. Now hold your toes and go down. Suck your tummy in tight. Suck your buttocks in tight. Do a Mahabandha. Mahabandha. Now each time you crunch your stomach vertically, horizontally, sideways, you must know that when you squeeze your Muladhar, your Swadhisthan, which is called Udyan, and your Vishuddhi Chakra, which is called Jalandhar, like, like in this one, you create inner internal, eternal strength. And that strength is not physical strength. That strength is of the spirit, soul, the mind. Super confidence, invincibility, and of course, infinite being. All right. Now, so from here, what we should do is stretch out. Right leg here, breathe out. And alternate, breathe out, breathe in, alternate. So I'm bringing in a little bit of dynamism here. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Having done this, one can sit into a cobbler's position and Push the knees down, open up your lower extremities, your pelvis, so that the blood flows evenly, even in your lower extremities and organs, your genitals, contract them tight, release for a perfect sound health of uniform circulation of prana. Oh, prana, urja, all right? Now from here, let me show you the camel position. From here, slowly hold your ankle or your heels. Hold your heels or your ankles. Stretch and push. Stretch your stomach, contract your back. And breathe out and down. Again, breathe in and up and get into camel position. Breathe out and contract your whole stomach and come down. All your organs will begin to work smoothly, well orchestrated. So in yoga, whenever you stretch and open up, fresh blood, nutrient laden, oxygen laden, enters your cells, your tissues, your organs. And whenever you contract the used up blood with toxins, oozes out. And again, as you stretch, fresh blood gets in, and you contract the oxygen laden, nutrient laden blood gets out. So it's a perfect combination of real time, cellular regeneration. Get revitalized, get energized, get naturalized, get minimized. 
So now, I will show you an exercise, which of course, everybody wants. Battle of the Bulge. Exercise for the stomach. Papi Pet Ka Sawal. And this exercise for the stomach, typically, is very simple. It is called Pavan Muktasan. But as a precursor to Pavan Muktasan, we will breathe out, breathe in. We will breathe out, breathe in. We breathe out, breathe in. And breathe out, and breathe in. Now, we will lie down. And as we lie down, we stretch our arms behind. And slowly breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, relax. And we will do the same with both the knees, hugging yourself. Self-love, self-compassion, self-empathy, self-sympathy and self-growth, self-evolution to be fulfilled, content, satiated always. So breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. So, this was a perfect exercise for good, strong, effective stomach to improve digestion, elimination of toxins, and improve absorption of food. And also, when you do a complete contraction of hugs, double hugs in Pavan Muktasan, some beautiful things happen. Literally, from Manipura Chakra, you breathe out your fears, phobias, insecurities, weaknesses, resentments, grudges, hatred, dislike. And you breathe in, let's see, courage, strength, hope, faith, cheer, joy, Love, forgiveness, beautiful. And let me give you some science on when you do breathing and breathing out in yoga. The science of five kinds of energy systems in you as per Ayurveda. So one is Pranvayu, which is general. Then there is Vyanvayu, functions your heart, responsible for the functioning of your heart. Then there is Saman Vayu, responsible for the functioning of your stomach. Then there is Apan Vayu, responsible for elimination of toxins. So as you stretch, contract, stretch, contract, these things happen. And the last, Uran Vayu. Whenever you do inversions, whenever you go against the gravity, whenever your blood circulation comes downwards to your brain, Uran Vayu becomes active makes you more aware, more conscious, fills you up with light of awareness, makes you see multiple dimensions. So, with the flow, with the rhythm, sympathy, empathy, benevolence, compassion, creativity, and forgiveness, love, vision, happens. So it translates into making you invincible. The process of evolution. So now let's see, Let's do some inversions and let's get the flame of yoga burning bright. Here, let's go. Let the flame of yoga burn bright. This is Sarvangasan. Be pinpoint candle straight. Let your chin get locked in. Focus between your two thumbs, two toes. Your focus in life, your objectives in life can get manifested 
in balancing this back. So halasan, I was talking about is to bend backwards for health, healing, health and healing is nothing but organic unity for your cellular community and for human immunity. All inversions upgrade your immunity because they trigger your endocrine, they trigger your hormones, they trigger your autonomous nervous system and also the central nervous system. And here we go. Halasan is very, very important to detox all the organs. Detox all the organs. Cleanse, let them ooze out. Let them ooze out. Let them ooze out. Back. Down. Okay, so let's do the opposite of Halasan. So instead of bending like this, crunching, now let's stretch and open up. So let's get into a Chakrasana. Your stomach is completely stretched. And now up on the calves. Squeeze your calves up on your heels. Back. So. In Chakrasana, typically, you create a semicircle and there is one imaginary semicircle in your mind which makes you a perfect circle. But getting into a perfect circle physically makes a big difference because that is the ultimate of all asanas. So, let us do one thing. Let the flame of yoga burn bright up. In Sarvangasana. Now let us go in Halasana and become a ball in complete circle. Stretch back and most importantly, as much. You open up your body as much you open up your mind. As your body becomes flexible, your mind becomes flexible too. Remember, a parachute works only when it is open. So your mind also works whenever it is open. So automatically with yoga, the confidence and conviction in life is so high that your first position and response to life is always yes not know and instead of asking why you will ask why not so opening up of the body opening up of the mind i will show it to you in this angle very well Now this is a namaste with your hands and legs together. A perfect balance and a great contraction for your stomach. Now hold your toes and as I said, opening up of the body is opening up of the mind. Opening of the body and here opens the mind. Back into namaste. Come down and Namaste back here again. Now, let's do some dynamic postures in poetry so that we get into the flow and rhythm of health and healing. Remember, there are four pillars for ultimate well-being. Pillar number one, conserve your body. Pillar number two, preserve your breath. Pillar number three, Synchronize your unit rhythm with the unity rhythm. 
So unit and unity brings immunity to humanity. So your circadian rhythm will synchronize with the rhythm of the universe. So sunrise, sunset, moon phases, tides of the sea, ocean, they all influence you with energy. And when you get synchronized with them, yoga is happening in principle. And you are growing in immunity and you are evolving as a personality, as a character. So fitness, health, wellness, well-being are the ladders of evolution. And these ladders of evolution can make you the super personality and the character which you can be and become with yoga because yoga only translates in evolution of your species, evolution of your personality and character. So now let me show you a dynamic exercise in yoga for increasing focus, strength, stamina, endurance, resilience, perseverance, energy, all at one go, all at one go. You'll imagine what? Let's see. So this is your on your mark, get set, go position. As in, in Surya Namaskar. So now I'm improvising on that position. Bounce. Breathe in. 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 Bounce. Now, champions are born out of challenges. And extraordinary are those who know that there is something within them which is superior to circumstance. I'll give you a paradox here. As much I would tell you, take it easy, don't cross lines and thresholds of difficulty so that you land up in trouble with soreness and injuries. As much I would ask you, to nudge yourself that only little bit in a calibrated way so that you can keep transcending, transforming. So let's go, let's do a quick run on this. Mountain climbing, let's say 12 counts, quick. <laughs> I got carried away, but you don't get carried away. When I say 12 counts, keep it to 12. Because 12 is a good figure to start with. 2 and 1, 3. Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. Om. Holy Trinity. Now, sitting in Vajrasana, whenever you've done something more elaborate or intense, it's a good way to relax. Especially, Sitting in Madrasan opens up my quadriceps, contracts my hamstrings and my calves, and all blood is focused in circulation towards the stomach and back because we strain the back. The back needs to get aligned, the back needs to get strengthened. People in the gym worldwide, they work on every such body part, but rarely on the back. Yoga has all the solutions for the back. All the solutions for the back. Back is your backbone of life because spine is where your yin and yang currents, Shiva Shakti, Chandra Surya go up and down. One thing most importantly that happens in yoga, typically that automatically your breath rhythm gets regulated. You begin to breathe with both the nostrils. As in day-to-day -day life, you breathe only with one nostril at a time and it switches from left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left. Of course, it is said scientifically that the right nostril dominates more during the day because it's heat. Surya. And the left nostril dominates more towards the evening after sunset when the energy is ebb. Moon. Chandra. Now these are scientific hidden secrets which Ayurveda and Yoga have unveiled, discovered, which I'm sharing with you. And this breathing with both the nostrils together increase the firing of your neurons. And most important, they increase the synaptic connections in your brain to keep you more younger, more youthful, more agile, 
more astute even at 80 even could be at 90 and you remember with yoga you can live for 300 years plus and no disease will ever touch you until you say that okay now let me let go of life vairagya and vairagya is distancing from desires and then you embrace yatha pinde tatha brahmande tattva masi soham aham brahmasmi these are all philosophies of me myself oneness cosmos absolute kevalya together integrated yoga huge holy communion holy trinity and then of course you become a super invincible human being now after this exercise let me show you one more fun exercise which will which will create a kind of effect of neurobics neurobics aerobics and neurons neurobics your left and right and right and left side of your body when they work alternately your coordination skills and balance skills improve a lot so from here now slowly we can go a little bit in speed to just enjoy a little bit amazing dynamic exercise which generates the dynamo of energy inside you the urja the prana the pranavayu remember I mean, there is only 20% oxygen in the air and this enables you to take the full 20%. And remember, each time you do yoga and breathe regulated, you upgrade it, you slow down, what happens? Your respiratory tract gets completely stimulated. All the germs and bacteria are either breathed out your lungs, five lobes, two on your left, three on your right. They get completely empty to be refilled only with fresh oxygen once again. And that is new surge of life. And the virus, talking about the virus, the bacteria, the germs. So your sinuses, when you do breathing in and out, your sinuses dilate with heat, thermogenesis. And when this heat, heat crosses 96, 97, 98 degrees, there's a very good chance you kill all the germs and viruses and you empty them, flush them out and adenoids, the lymph nodes behind, behind your nose. They also drain out the germs, bacteria. So it is said that when you do different postures and when you do different kind of contractions and stretches, like let me tell you this one like a dhanurasana so typically it is said that your t cells which is from the thymus gland behind your clavicle and your b cell your b cell typically which means your bone marrow your thymus glands t cells and your b cells which are very important for immunity your immunoglobulins also and your antibodies they rise with that kind of breathing and there is no infection, no bacteria, no germs ever after. Up. Now, whenever you are in a bow position, remember, a bow allows you to be stable, coordinated, focused, absolutely aligned with your objective of your soul. Relax. To relax from a bow position, you can come up in Bhujangasana, and be steady and look straight smile yoga is all about contract stretch but the smile should be constant the smile is the inner peace inner joy inner bliss your immunity rises your immunity gets triggered with every smile every laughter when you laugh your diaphragm moves up and down very well 
ha, 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 12 to 13 centimeters. And here you go. All your immunoglobulins, all your antibodies, and all your endocrine begin to secrete the best of immunology within you. So let's become a bow again. The arrow is not important. It is the bow which allows the arrow to hit the target, have a trajectory and be aligned. The bow allows you to be focused, absolute alert and aligned in life, giving you perfect concentration, perfect. And so what we saw and what we did, if you remember Bhujangasana, snake, alert but don't bite, respond to light but don't react. Then we did half Surya Namaskar. In the half Surya Namaskar, we learned that being on your knees, on your fours, being connected to the earth, the gravity, the instincts, you could have a perfect balance, coordination, psycho, neuro, muscular. Then we got into a full Surya Namaskar, which is a complete compound composite training for your body, mind and spirit, facing the east, taking the sunshine, activating your nervous system, activating your, your lungs, your hearts, your digestion, your liver, kidney, pancreas, your complete musculoskeletal structure would get stretched, contracted and challenged. Once again, Champions are born out of challenges and extraordinary are those who know that there is something within them which is superior to circumstance. We are born of a mighty purpose from a mighty power. Let's not abuse. So the human evolution has been billions of years old. Right from the time we were a speck of a chemical called chemolitho autotrophic hyperthermophile on the rims of a volcano till the time we've become super conscious human beings. We've really come millions and billions of years. Human being can live for 300 years comfortably and then if he decides he can let go the food, let go water, let go attachments and let go the breath and transform, transmigrate, reform, choose life to live or choose life to disappear or dissolve. But what is the reality of a virus? It is a toxic purge from a toxic cell which can't even live on its own for more than 15 days. And a virus is a great disgrace. Human health is grace. So don't be scared of a virus which doesn't have its own existential reality for more than 15 days. You are born of a mighty power for a mighty purpose and your purpose in life is to evolve, to find your place in this universe through yoga, your hidden talents, your set skills and change the gene pool and the gene expression you are born with which the science of epigenetics, neuroplastic, neuroplasticity, mind gut access, Telomeres, telomerase tells you, microbiomes tells you, so mind gut axis, gut gravity axis, then the science of polyvagal theory, the science of autopoiesis, the science of polymorphism. We live as so many personalities and we keep switching personalities, father to son to employer, employee, friend, brother, husband, lover, boss, subordinate. And this switch of personalities brings stress in our ego and stress in our body. So all kinds of dis-ease are seeded in the subconscious, your personality, and the manifestation happens in the body. So Kama, Kurodha, Lobha, Moha, Madha, Maya, Matsara. These create the imbalance. Let me give you the English translation. Pride, anger, lust, envy, gluttony average sloth, they disturb and bring disorder and dis-ease in your personality and yoga brings ease and order, eliminating all of them, dissolving all of them only with 
yama niyama discipline way of life focus asana pranayama postures in poetry breathing regulated pratyahara internalizing of senses dhyana attention focus dharna devotion perseverance sincerity and samadhi the ultimate evolution of life thus yoga helps you translate into building personalities and characters so let me show you one something so beautiful which i enjoy and that will really blow your mind away and i'm giving you the same asana which i did at an angle which will give you better clarity it's a repeat of what i did earlier so let let the flame of yoga burn bright bend backwards for health and become a circle a ball of infinity eternity of health healing becoming a reservoir of energy prana urja radiance vibrance towards nirvana and moksha all right bring about a smile now let's get into some kind of meditation okay and this some kind is you know the words are written by me so that's number 1 and number 2 we'll do guided meditation so the first one is we'll keep eyes open smile journey of million miles could be well negotiated just with smiles so let's begin take a deep breath om kal shanti which means i harmonize with the time kal is history kal is time and kal is death also om vastu disha shanti i connect my energies and harmonize with all objects matter directions dimensions om vayu shanti i harmonize with the air element om jal shanti i harmonize with water element om agni shanti i harmonize with the fire of life om prithvi shanti i harmonize with the earth element and now the most important essence and element of life om akasha shanti ओम सर्वग्र नक्षत्र राशि शांति ओम विश्व ब्रह्मांड शांति ओम सर्वग्र नक्षत्र राशि विश्व ब्रह्मांड शांति ओम शांति 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 नाउ लेट्स गेट इन टू अनदर गाइडेड मेडिटेशन आई एम कीपिंग माय आईज ओपन आई वांट टू सी यू ऑल यू कीप योर आईज शट take a deep breath take a deep breath take a deep breath and breathe out your weakness breathe in energy breathe out exhaustion breathe in energy breathe out fatigue now breathe in strength breathe out weaknesses breathe in courage breathe out your fears phobias breathe in hope breathe out despair breathe in hope and faith and breathe out despair uncertainties doubts anxieties breathe in love breathe out hate grudges resentments forgive yourself forgive the world unshackle yourself 
and fly. Unshackle yourself and fly to the sky. Release yourself. Don't hold on to anything. Yoga is all about letting go, letting go, letting go. So as you breathe out, you let go, you let go. You let go everything that you don't want. And as you breathe in, you breathe in everything that you want. The Radha and the Dhara, they move in circles. They connect you with the cosmos. Yatha pinde, tatha brahmande, as is the atom, so is the universe. So the Radha which goes out becomes Dhara and comes back. It keeps changing forms of positivity and optimism. And remember, you are the co-creator of your destiny. You can become the co-creator of your change. You can become the choreographer of your change. And how about this? You can write your own destiny from this point onwards. Of course, collective destiny like Wuhan, Corona, COVID-19 will prevail. Once in a blue moon, but in majority, you will always walk towards life where 99% of human beings are walking towards death. Constantly rejuvenate yourself, revitalize yourself with yoga. Eat clean green. Yoga is a go green exercise. Be lean, don't be mean, plug out from the machine, plug into your heart and go green. Eat green. Eat natural, wholesome, have breath for breakfast. Have a lot of sunshine in the morning to charge up your batteries. Become dynamic, radiant, vibrant. Have a lot of herbs. Have vegetarian, postic, sattva, sattvic gun food. As is your food, so will be your influence of thoughts, creativity, productivity. So yoga translates into wellness, well-being. Yoga translates into rhythm, flow, sympathy, empathy, compassion, benevolence, okay? And the mess of the mind clears and clarity emerges. The fog of the mind dissolves and vision emerges. The lethargy of the mind is let loose and goes away and productivity emerges so vision creativity productivity makes you a dynamic human being mark twain said there are two most important days in your life the first day you were born and second day you realize why with yoga you will realize your purpose and you will outgrow your genes outgrow your hereditary design and plan and make your own destiny you know, super successful people when they are asked that how can you do so much in a day and in your lifetime. So there's a lovely quote which goes like this. Heights by great men reached and kept were not attained in sudden flights for they, while their companions slept, were toiling upwards in the night. And there's a lovely poem from William Blake's that comes to my mind that We are led to believe a lie when we see from and not through the eyes. For we are born in the night to be perished in the night while our souls rest in the beams of light. So see this life through the eyes of your soul and everything will seem one, not divided. Everything will seem united, not divided. Everything will seem whole, not fragmented, not fractured. Everything will seem together, not staggered, not scattered. The pearls of life will be one, bound in one necklace of yoga. And you will arise. You will arise in grace, in evolution. The lotus will open up. Your focus will be only towards lotus, the evolution of life. And this evolution of life is the ultimate objective of yoga. 
Let's heal every single soul on this earth. Let's make every single soul vibrant with yoga. Spread the message of yoga. Swast Vishwa. Must Vishwa. Swast Bharat. Must Bharat. And let's kindle the flame of yoga to enlighten the whole universe in oneness. Awakening for all, including the birds, the bees, the humans, the trees. We are all one, born of the same energy. That energy, which was never born and shall never die. It's eternal. So let's perpetuate life after life in continuity of only to progress in the sansara. Let's become timeless. Yoga makes you timeless. Let's breathe out all the mental stress, emotional stress, psychological disturbances and fill yourself with the light of yoga. Free of medicines, the father of medicines, Hippocrates said, let thy food be thy medicine. Eat clean, eat green, don't eat after sunset and embrace Ayurveda. Ayu, Ayush your life and Veda, the science, the creative science of life and not the preventive science of life. And then let's get energized, maximized, optimized, naturalized, eternalized, evolutionized, internalized, revolutionized, mesmerized, hypnotized, regularized, revitalized, specialized, initialized into yoga to get minimized. One, two, three, four.